I'm so happy to make music. On it's really important to have joy in your life, and so much of that is music making. Everyone is fun in music class. I'm Megan Heinrich. I teach general music classes to K-4 through 5th grade students. The K-5 age is so much fun. I walk into those classrooms and the students are so ready for music. They are sitting there smiling and waving. Miss H is here! Miss H is here! It's music day! At the K-5 level, music is crucial. When Megan is in that classroom, students are so attentive. There is never any behavior issue and it makes me think, what's going on? That grabs those kids' attention. If you set your mind free, baby, maybe you will understand. Starfish and One of the reasons that I love this song, Starfish and Coffee, is that it's about a girl named Cynthia Rose who's kind of weird and different. We talk about how as long as you're being safe, you can be whoever you want to be. And I look at him and I say, you think Miss H likes to be a little different? Yeah, <laughs> well, Miss H goes around with pink hair playing the ukulele and I want you to do the things that make you happy in life. Playing music can contribute to that so much. One, two, three. My name is Mitch Shiner. I teach world percussion through the Conservatory Connections program. This is one of the first programs that incorporates both music from West Africa and music from Brazil. We start talking about the origins of the music that we're studying. So we try to give the students an understanding of where these rhythms come from. The sixth grade students here at Burbank School, like all of our students, are very multiculturally diverse. We have 16 or 17 languages spoken in our building from many different countries. Our diversity comes from many children from refugee camps around the world. All the years I've been a principal, I've never seen middle school students be so enthusiastic about music class. It's all hands-on from the very first day of class. It's very difficult for students to sit and be talked at. So when they started drumming class, they had those drums in their hands the very first day and it caught their attention and their enthusiasm immediately. Every student has a drum in front of them. They can absolutely play and make a rhythm. And if there's a friend sitting next to them, they can make music together. They've got rhythm, they've got time, they've got melody, they can make beautiful music together. There's a lot of things that come together in order to play jazz music. My name is Mark Davis, I'm the chair of the Jazz Institute. You're creating something in real time, but it's based on a lot of knowledge, theoretical knowledge, skill on your instrument. The students at Wedgwood are middle school students and they've not been exposed to jazz much. Our faculty are introducing basic jazz concepts and they're loving it. I've really seen a great growth in their musicianship over the last five months. I'm uh, Michelle Miller. I teach instrumental music here at Wedgwood Park Middle School. The benefit I've seen is it really encourages the students to practice and play their instruments more. They get to challenge themselves outside of the, I write my answers on a piece of paper. In the jazz idea, they can have lots of different right answers. We're fortunate that there's people in our community who really feel strongly that there should be strong arts in the schools. Having the support of the community in Milwaukee for programs like this is amazing. Be a part of the team is a really wonderful thing. You're supporting this window of happiness in a child's day. You are giving these kids another opportunity to put a smile on their face. Every week another opportunity to be creative and express themselves and discover something new about who they are.